How's it going everyone? John here and welcome back to another Streamlabs OBS tutorial video. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create a basic scene. Now I'm not going to be going into showing you how to create all the scenes that you need or all the ones that I recommend or all the stuff that you could throw into a scene because I've done individual videos on all the different type of widgets and explaining all the different types of things for Streamlabs OBS that can get you guys started today. But for this video, it's going to basically show you how to create at least one scene to get you guys started. And that's going to be your main scene for whenever you guys are actually streaming a game. But if you guys are enjoying the content on the channel, be sure to go ahead and subscribe and join the Discord as well if you guys ever need to reach out to me. So as you can already see, I have a bunch of scenes that already are created. I use these whenever I stream over on Twitch. Now, you don't need to have as many of these as I do, but I would recommend having a starting soon, a getting started, a main and then even like a BRB and then a um, ending soon or ending stream. Now I don't have an ending stream one just because I don't see a purpose for it for me but that is usually one that you will get inside of a stream package. So let's go ahead and actually get started with creating a scene. So the way I always describe scenes and sources is very similar to PowerPoint presentations. Your scene, which is this section over here, this is going to be your PowerPoint slides. This, the sources, this is your information that you're wanting to display on that PowerPoint. So to create your scene, click on the plus, give it a name, click done. Now the transition that you just saw right there, that is a transition that I've added in on my own. You don't have to worry about that right now. That is something that is going to be later on that I'll talk about. But for right now, go ahead and create your scene. And now we're going to go ahead and add the sources. So this right now is a blank canvas. This right here is your canvas. So we're going to click on the plus. And now you have all of these. You have your standard, you have your widgets. So the basic thing that you're going to want to have is going to be an overlay. And you can, you can actually install an overlay by using the themes on Streamlabs OBS. I had created a video on that, so make sure you guys go ahead and check that out. And once you have that installed, you'll be good to go. So we'll go ahead and we'll just do a basic overlay right now. So as you can see, once you started adding in sources, they're going to automatically stay here. So you guys can kind of see that I have different stuff already set up. Right, so I have like my BRB, I have stuff for hype and all these type of things like my Pokemon overlay, Facebook, main, and stuff like that. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use the um where did I put you? I'm gonna use this right here. So this is gonna be my IRL overlay. So now it's a little too big, so that's fine, we can fix that. If you right click on it, and if you go down to transform, you're gonna go to fit to screen. Bam, now it fits the screen, it's locked in, you're good to go. Now to make sure you don't grab it, you're gonna to wanna to click on this little lock here and just lock it. So now I can't grab anything, I can't move anything around. Now that we have this overlay, and yes, I had created this, this is something I did in Photoshop on my own. So this is not something you guys are gonna find anywhere else. Now what we wanna do is we wanna fill in the different stuff, right? So you could do two things. One, if you don't want to use a webcam and you just want to have this as your main type of screen for whenever people are watching you play a game, you can make this box here your game screen. Or if you are using a webcam, you can put your webcam here. So I'm going to show you the webcam instance just because I don't have any games up and running at this point in the time of the video. So we're going to click on the plus again. And then what we're going to do is we're going to be looking for the video capture device. Now this allows you to use webcams and capture cards. So as you can see, I'm in the preview window, and then I also have my Elgato. My Elgato doesn't have anything playing, so it's gonna be a blank box, so we're not gonna use that. We will use this, so I double clicked and it brought it in. Now it's still too big, as you guys can see, this is just way too big. The thing that's really cool about the whole thing is these are like a layer system. So you can left click, hold, drag down, and now it's underneath. So now if I needed to kind of move things around, I could, if I want to keep it a little bit outside the box like that, that's fine. Lock it in place, and now it's behind it, everything is good to go, and you're all set. So now maybe you want to add in all this extra stuff, like a live chat. So live chat, we can do that too. We'll click on the little plus, we'll be looking for the chat, 
chat box. There it is. So I already have a chat box already set up. Click the add source. And let me highlight that again. All right, so as you can see, it's a little bit too big. So what we can do here is we right click we go to properties and you can adjust the width and the height. So the width, we'll leave that there. I think we'll set this guy to, let's say 750 for the height. So we'll click done. And just for purposes like that, we'll just leave it like this. And then we'll lock it in place. And then these guys, these are all stream labels. So if we click on the plus, and then we're gonna be looking for stream labels. So we got stream labels right here. And I got all these different ones already set up. So if we have followers, just click on that. And we'll try to grab it, bring it in here. And you'll just repeat that same process for all the others. And then after that, you wanna bring in your alerts. So then if you click on the plus, get your alert box, click add. I already have the alert box all set up. And then we will kind of shrink it down a little bit bring it right about there all right and then we'll lock it in place for both and there you go you have one of your scenes together now I know a bunch of you are probably saying well you already had all this stuff set up how do I get it set up it's very very simple so let me go ahead and delete all this and I'll show you I just wanted to give you guys a very quick overview on how to actually just kind of throw things together. All right, so now we're back to a blank canvas. So click on here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to bring the image back. Now you're going to click on this add new source instead. Give it a name. Find your source that you want. That is how you will go and search for it for your, for your overlay. Now if you wanted to bring in your alert box, Alert box will be automatic. Once you click on add new source, you do add new source, and then it will bring up this for you. So you'll be able to choose if you want raids to be included, bits, donations, merch, subs, yada, yada, yada. I've gone through all of this, like how to set all this up, and then you just bring it in. And you just follow that same step for everything else. And if you wanted to add like a music clip or something like that, then you would go over and look for media source. Media source will allow you to bring in MP3s. If you have it as a video, you can use the MP4s or AVI. Um, let's see, what else would you want to possibly bring in here? If you are doing PC, like I said, it could either be game capture, it could be display capture. If you are wanting to use a third party application, like Maybe for some reason the alert box or some of these things aren't working, but Streamlabs website has something where you can just grab the link. Then you would use browser source. Browser source allows you to take, like I said, third party widgets. You can take website links, you can take HTML, all that type of stuff and throw it in there. Guys, I've gone over all of these things for you in separate videos, but that should at least get you started and understand how to go about getting a scene at least set up if you're doing everything manually. If you are getting something out of the theme store, please take a look at the video that I have created about this because this will give you a lot of good stuff getting started and it looks very good, very good. So you can even look up free ones if you're not wanting to go and spend any money just yet. But just for an example, if we go with this one, I mean, you're getting the choice of using any of these and these are webcam boxes. You have different type of like overlays for alerts, like, well, like whoever subs, whoever drops a dono. You have these right here. These are events. So it's going to show the most recent sub, tip, top cheer, top tip, everything like that. You have your starting soon. You have an intermission, a BRB, and then an ending. So, I mean, this is free. And all you got to do is click the install overlay and then it brings it right in for you. So, I mean, there's, there's definitely stuff that you can work with if you're using Streamlabs OBS. If you use anything else outside of Streamlabs OBS, then it might be a little bit different for you to where you'll have to actually put everything in manually. 
But this, like I said, should get you started. But if you guys have any questions or if there's anything I missed, let me know in the comment section below. Be sure to go ahead and take a look at the other content on the channel and join the Discord if you guys ever need to get in contact with me outside of YouTube. Or you can go and follow me over on Twitch. I stream three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 9 p.m. Central Time. But guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one and have fun streaming.